that, blame that, Murphy's Law. If it can go wrong, it will, it does. Here I go losing my glasses again. So I got my wife's flower glasses. So shh, don't tell her I'm kind of going to borrow them. But don't tell on me now because I'm wearing uh, women's glasses, you know. But, you know, some people would imply some really freaky stuff. Or maybe not so freaky, depending what you believe. But praise God, as long as we are have love as a little child, all of our sin is under the blood of the Lamb, slain before the foundation of the earth. And it's time we realize that His love is the devoted, faithful, and a loyal love. He is not a God of conditional love. There are no conditions to His covenant. I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven you, and I will never remember it. Show me some conditions, people. I'd like to know, because I am Shiloh, uh, the end-time Latter-day Elijah. My name is Daniel, the Latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who would embrace his destiny. And as the messenger of Malachi 3, 1, that prepares the Lord's way, which that is, that is will cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, uh, 9 says so. And if the word does not open, then Christ Jesus cannot return, Acts 3, 21, because the truth is the restoration is the understanding of his devotion and the understanding of the depths of his love. Our, we've only seen his love like the tip of an iceberg. We haven't seen what was underneath. Why? There was a huge distortion because 2,000 years ago we have desolate heritages. Isaiah 49, eight, because early Christians, they stole uh, all the Hebrew books and then they turned and said, and we are Israel and all the prophecy is for us. They totally eliminated the fact that the covenant was always written correctly to uh, all mankind. Uh, Jeremiah 32, 27, I am the Lord God of all mankind. And anyone that has not that God uh, has not Christ, the right Christ, because he is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. He said so, John 10. And if you have a God of uh, conditional love, you have a false God. And if you're God, <laughs> man, you guys got a false God. Uh, if your God is not a God of a conditional, uh, unconditional love, there is no such thing as love unless it is unconditional. So it's time to arise and come to the fact that we need the restoration of all things. Matthew 17, 11, that would come by his latter day messenger of that kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 that tears down all kingdoms of man's imaginations not built solely upon the Lord's unconditional love. But in order for the light to shine so brightly in this hour, the dark darkness darkness must also be present. So we need to be like a lighthouse, just like that lighthouse in the dark uh, that rises involuntarily to the ground and illuminates the path for all those who are in the sea that could be lost in a storm because the right thing to do benefits us and others. So we need to be the lighthouses that we are as we magnify Christ's light within us. It's never been important what we do for him. It's what he has always been, done for us. We're no damn good. No, not even one. Romans 3.10 but most of us are still good because he is in us as love, and that makes us pretty good lots of times. And so realize that lighthouses, they don't go running all over looking for boats to save. They are just standing there shining. So it's time to shine the resplendence of the glory of love. That is what will cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as waters cover the ocean of his love that is uh, like poetry in motion. And so as we shine, we will shine as the wise, so we will never again uh, look through a glass darkly, that there are clear-cut uh, definitions now. I am Shiloh. Uh, foretold one whose eyes are red and dull of wine because I smoke a lot of weed. I really do. And uh, But one thing, not a lot, I'm exaggerating that, 
but for the arthritis, you know, I don't know, that Murphy's Law got me. But realize that if we are a lighthouse, that we cannot hide ourselves. And if we hide ourselves, then we cannot be a lighthouse. So in the darkness, realize that life was in our majesty of majesties, who is the lighthouse above all lighthouses. He is the, the bright light within that. And life was in him, and that life was the light of all men. The light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness could not overcome it. And it is absolutely true. And so realize that lighthouses also don't go running all over uh, an island looking for boats to s save. They just stand there and they glorify uh, those out in the water that need their help because God's arms have never been too short to save. And if you got clear sailing, at least you can see the warning light. And it's time to see that warning light. And it has been said that um, we could think of no other thing as uh, altruistic as a lighthouse uh, because they were only built to serve. So if we were truly, truly like a lighthouse, our job would be to serve the light of love unto each other as a little child. We gotta stop faking it and we gotta start making it. We've had uh, a lots of toxic milk and it's all gone rotten and rancid, the, the food that religion is teaching. Now it's time for the meat. Who will come and feed the master's household meat? Matthew 24, 45. Uh, it is I, the constructor of the Latter-day Mountain, covered with spiritual food, as it is written in uh, Isaiah 25, in the latter days. In the latter days, people will beat their sword into the sickle upon that latter day mountain, Isaiah 2 and Micah 4. There has never been another new mountain in this world other than this one. And so realize now, and I can say that because I'm like 11,000 videos right now. So don't forget that maybe we are in the lighthouse in someone else's storm and birds of a feather flock together and if that's the case we got to get out and dodge we got to make like a banana and split fast and we got to realize that the weed and the tares can no longer grow together the candle of change is lit the torch of revolution is upon us the candle of the great restoration of our carpenter of the ages is now so that he will not have to stay in reserve in heaven as it says in Acts 3 uh, 21 that Peter preached and so realize that our past is like a, a lighthouse and not a port if we will let uh, our, our let go of our love so it flows forward it never flows backwards but the ebb and the tide of his crashing wind and the uh, waves upon our, 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 the shores of our souls with his living water, we will come to see that the lighthouse of the Lord is calling us all as we all sail the seas of life. And he's calling each of our own names as if we were the only one. And we have to realize that no matter uh, no matter what the storms in our life is, that Christ, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, uh, our Lord of Lords, our King of Kings, He is the living lighthouse in all of us. And so it is time. Uh, we also need to realize that a lighthouse has never been interested in who gets its light. It just gives and gives without even thinking. Just keep giving light, light, nothing but light. Praise the Lord. Amen.